going on adventurers? Today we are doing something a little bit different. I know you guys are used to seeing us in the cemeteries, but today we are actually in what once was a ghost town. Um, this is called Bayport, Florida. And yeah, it was a huge port uh, back in the 1800s. So uh, today, the only thing that they really have here is one restaurant, a boat launch and pier, and a couple houses. That's it. That's all that's left of this town. So we thought we would come out here. I'm gonna actually just uh, let the camera run for a few minutes. My voice is a little bit hoarse, sorry guys. Feeling like Mr. Ed. <laughs> um, so we're gonna just let the camera run for a little bit and see if we pick up on any audible sounds or see anything that happens that's weird. But of course we have the necrophonics, so we'll turn that on as well. But it's so beautiful back here. I hope you guys are enjoying the uh, the footage that we have because it is really a very cool place. We've been back here. This is only the second time that we've actually ever been on this road. We came here the other day, kind of by accident. Lisa was exploring and uh, <laughs> she decided to turn off on this road. And I'm so glad that you decided to do that because this is a really cool place. And now we can share it with all you guys. So without any further ado, let's get into it. So as you can tell guys, the tide is currently out. What? what happened? I didn't do that. What? Keep doing that. Okay, well, I guess, you know, we were going to just kind of... Literally, it's on stop. Because see, it says you have to push... I button. see. It's not on. Okay, so guys, you know, here's the thing. I'm not doing that. Spirits always know where to find you if you want to communicate with them. So, obviously, they want to talk to us right now. So, we're just going to... We're just going to flow with it. Let's, let's do it. I mean, I guess that's how they decided they want to communicate with us. So, we're going to go ahead and... Um, it wasn't on. We're gonna go ahead and talk to him. Now it's going ahead. Yeah. There go. Hello, who's here with us today that wants to talk to us so badly? <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> Did you used to live here back when this was a port? What, what can you tell us about this town, how it used to be? What were the products that they used to trade here? I heard meat. It did say meat. When I was researching it, it did say that they used to they used to trade meat here. Anything else that you can think of that they used to trade here? Whoa, that was creepster. I can't wait to hear what that said. Can you tell us what's left of the boat that was sunk here? I'm just, I'm literally just waiting for an alligator. Are there any alligators nearby? I mean, I know Lisa worries because she has trouble getting around, but listen, that alligator is going to get me because I'm going to make sure she's up out of here and safe before it gets to her, so. I might, I might do the forest Gump and learn to run real quick. <laughs> <laughs> run, Lisa, run! Yeah, I'm not going to let anything happen to you. Well... Is there anything you want to tell us about this town? <laughs> Why did you keep turning on the necrophonic today? Three. 
Is Lay here with us? Did anybody no. did anybody die here? No. Right in this area. Did anybody die right here? Can you tell us what happened to them? Ask him about the um the oh. thing that burned down you read about. Okay. There was a Bayport hotel that burned down. Was that person in the fire? Oh, something was over here moving, guys. What's right there? Oh, the room. Is that, was that an alligator? I thought it was. Look at this beautiful bird coming, guys. There he goes. So what else can you tell us though about the um the motel that burned down? I think I did hear swamp. Is there an alligator out here? How far away is the closest alligator? Yeah. Lisa's getting close to me, <laughs> close to me, just in case. <laughs> I love alligators, but I'm not gonna let one attack her. Panda. What does pandas have to do with it? Is this, is this area haunted? What year was this town established? Were there Native Americans here? Any Native Americans? I heard, yeah. And that's probably true because I do know that there were Native Americans nearby Wikiwachi River, which is very close to here. That's right. So, you know, most likely they did spread out over here to the Brackish Water area as well. Um, this actually feeds out into the Gulf right out that way, guys. And that the name of that beach is Pine Island. This road actually used to take you out to Pine Island. This was the only way out there. And I don't remember that. I'm probably too young to remember that. Uh, but there's another main road now, so this does not connect anymore. Do you want to go in the car and finish the spirit box session? All right. Hold on. All right, guys. So we got back in the car because it's getting really windy and chilly. We want you guys to be able to hear the audio. So we got back in the car and literally. The necrophonic turned itself back on once again. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's see. Oh, that, that's definitely better silent sound quality. Yeah. Are any spirits here? Can you say your name? Say your name, say your name. Oh, that's kind of like Lay's horse. It did. Lay, is that you? Lay. 
Lays. It said Lays. Hi, Lay. Something Lisa. Motorcycles. Kitchen motor running. I think I'm gonna leave it on. Ooh, there's all the bikers. It's cool. Did you see? Did you see the motorcycles? That would be a really cool ride back here. It said awesome. All right, so can you can you come through one at a time and tell us your names? That was weird. I like when they speak in sentences. That's pretty cool. Doesn't happen often. But when it does, it's pretty exciting. Mm -hmm. It makes sense. I got his back. No, oh, maybe. Who was that that has someone's back? <laughs> this water is beautiful here. I was watching. It's not beautiful. It's very calm. <laughs> All right, we're going to go ahead and turn off the spirit box. Thank you so much for talking to us. I'm going to be editing that for so long. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? When you play it back sometimes, it surprises you. That's true. So, guys, we're going to just sit here quietly in the car for a couple minutes, see if anything happens. The thing about spirits is they always know people who are open to communicating with them. I mean, it could be something as simple as, you know, I mean, the wind's blowing right now, but it was, I was going to say it could be something as simple as, you know, a branch moving or a bird making a noise or flying low close by. Um, it could be any number of things. It could be a smell. It could be, you know, a splash in the water. Anything like that could be spirits trying to communicate with us. So we're going to just sit here quietly and see what we observe. And here, and I do hear a bird all of a sudden, which is interesting because that's what I was just talking about. So it is very possible that could be a spirit trying to communicate with us. I'm just gonna sit here quietly and listen and, and let you guys look at the beauty. And the sun's going down. Sometimes they get more active when the sun goes down. This is a number one area where people come to watch the sunset because if you go down the road, there's an unobstructed view of the golf, which maybe we'll show you that one day. We'll go to that sunset area. It's just gorgeous here. It really is. It's very serene. 
good way to end the day. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Yes. Let's listen quietly now and see if we hear anything or if Lisa and I see anything or if we smell anything, we will let you know. It's eerily quiet out here, except for the the movement of the of the palm fronds. Can you make them blow really hard? If that's a spirit doing that, really show us that you're here. How about that? Thanks for doing that, we appreciate it. Think we spirit or not spirit? Uh, it's pretty. Uh, it's pretty active. Active there, and it seemed like it really uh, blew a little bit harder when I said yeah. for them to move it. So, check out that rear view mirror. Is that an awesome picture or what? that sunset guys we were able to catch it for you hope you guys enjoy that just as much as we are enjoying it right now it is absolutely gorgeous like seriously almost every single florida postcard look at this moon guys this is absolutely amazing how cool is that So this is it guys, this is the place we were saying we we're gonna take you one day to see the sunset, but guess what? Today is that day. We were actually able to make it in time. And is that one of the most beautiful sunsets that you've ever seen? I think so. What do you think? I just saw something jump out of the water. Right there. It's beautiful. Lisa's gonna jump in after it and see what it was. <laughs> I saw it too. There he goes. I think it's a mullet. All right guys, we had an amazing adventure today. It was a little bit different. You know, we explored the whole ghost town thing. First time that we've ever done that. So I thought it was pretty fun. Um, I'm gonna find out some more information about this place and then maybe we will do another video at some point in time. But 
I'm so glad we could share the sunset with you guys and I can't wait to play back all of the necrophonic uh, EVPs that we received because it sounded like they were really talking to us. I, I know <laughs> that they do that a lot, but every time it's just as exciting and just as interesting. So we love you guys. Thank you so much for all your love and support and we'll see you on our next Raptor, Raptor Adventure. Adventure.